the disastrous era of the Russian Tu-22M3 bomber is just beginning. A Tupolev Tu-22M3 supersonic long-range bomber belonging to Russia's Air Force has crashed over the country's southern Stavropol region, the Russian Defense Ministry reported. It is noted that the incident, thought to have been caused by a technical failure, occurred as the aircraft was returning to its home base after a combat mission. It was not carrying munitions at the time of the crash. One member of the crew was killed and two ejected to safety. Regional Governor Vladimir Vladimirov reported a fourth crew member remains unaccounted for. The Ukrainian military has claimed its air defenses engaged the Tu-22 some 300 kilometers from the Ukrainian border and brought it down. The incident occurred in the northwestern part of Stavropol region, which borders Rostov region and the Republic of Kalmykaya. According to national interest media outlet, Ukraine has successfully downed a Russian Tu-22M3 bomber marking the first such loss for Russia in the Ukraine war. The Tu-22M3, used by Russia to launch Kh-22 cruise missiles into Ukraine, crashed due to an alleged technical malfunction, according to Moscow, although it was reportedly shot down during a missile attack. Kiev has claimed to have shot down a Russian Tu-22M3 supersonic bomber for the first time. Ukraine has said that the Kremlin has employed the Tupolev Tu-22M3 aircraft to fire the Kh-22 cruise missile at Ukrainian territory and the bomber was downed while carrying out a missile attack. Despite being a Cold War era aircraft, the Tu-22M3 remains a significant asset in Russia's aerospace forces designed primarily for theater-level engagements rather than intercontinental missions. Its operational history includes limited combat roles in conflicts such as in Chechnya, Georgia and Syria and now in Ukraine. The Kremlin has rarely acknowledged that its aircraft has been shot down by enemy fire. This is the first loss of a Tu-22M3 in the ongoing war in Ukraine. But since the experience has been gained, it is expected that the loss of these types of aircraft will increase. If not donate, partners could sell Patriot systems to Ukraine. Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte. The European Union may buy Patriot air defense systems from countries that have them but are unwilling to transfer them to Ukraine, Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte said. According to Rutte, Kyiv's allies have the necessary funds to finance the purchases. We can buy it from them. We can deliver it to Ukraine. We have the money available. It's crucial, the Dutch Prime Minister said. Root clarified that he was referring to countries that do not want to transfer these systems to Ukraine directly. We know that many countries are sitting on large piles of Patriot systems, maybe not wanting to deliver it directly. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg called on allies to beef up Ukraine's air defense amid intensifying Russian attacks. Stoltenberg spoke as Germany is making plans to encourage European countries operating Patriot missiles to give the systems to Ukraine. Over the weekend, Berlin announced it would send one Patriot air defense system. Germany announced it will send another Patriot system to Ukraine, a part of the important effort we are now making across the NATO alliance to step up our delivery of air defense systems to Ukraine, Stoltenberg said. If allies face a choice between meeting NATO capability targets and providing more aid to Ukraine, my message is clear, send more to Ukraine, he said. Previously, the Netherlands promised $4.27 billion in military aid for Ukraine, which includes the transfer of several Patriot systems. On April the 12th, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba said that Ukraine was actively negotiating with allies to acquire two Patriot batteries and one SAMPT unit. He added that if partners were ready to transfer these systems, the issue could be resolved within weeks. On April the 3rd, Kuleba noted that Kyiv's partners were reluctant to transfer five to seven Patriot systems to Ukraine, even though they have more than a hundred at their disposal. On March 30th, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky stated that Ukraine had submitted requests for additional Patriots to every country that owns them. 